you can see he's very distracted with everything. He wants to go sniff, check stuff out, make sure he approves of it. Cola, come. Cola, come. Exactly what I'm doing right now. You know, he's, I'm asking him to come. He's incredibly distracted. I do have him on the leash. Cola, come. Cola, come. So, when you do have, you know, a situation where he's not really into, you know, listening to you or anything like that, and he's distracted, of course he knows his name and everything like that. He's a very smart boy. But when you do have him come to you, you want to make sure you're really excited and start off, well, not start off, but continue working um, on come with him, but baby steps. So, you have him on the leash here. You want to keep it a little bit short. And when you do try to get him really excited to come to you, um, just try to walk backwards a little bit and be really bouncy and happy. And it really gets him excited. If you ever find that a dog plateaus during training, try and uh, get extremely excited about everything. And they definitely feed off of your energy and excitement. You ready? All right, so leash is on. If he doesn't have a leash on, that really gives him the opportunity to just ignore and do whatever he wants. So with the leash, it's just the six foot leash, but with the leash, you're able to give a, get a little bit more control over him. If he needs a little bit of help, you kind of need to reel him in a little bit. The leash is great for that. All right. It's not yet time. Come on. All right. So if he does start to get off on the side, he's kind of pulling me a little bit. I'm just going to give a slight little tug on the leash and then start walking backwards, asking him to come. I can reel him in. enjoy the smell of food. What are you doing, bud? Ah, 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 ah. Good boy. Come, come. Come, come, come. Good, come, Koa. Good, come. Good boy. All right, so again, cut him some slack on the leash. The leash is mighty tasty. Sit. Good, sit. 
Okay, gonna give him some uh, some slack on that leash there. He's all loosey goosey. When you guys are out and about trying to make it into a game, if you go out, you know, to the park or something, try to get those long training leashes. Those are excellent to train with. They, you know, give the dog room. They have opportunity to go a distance away from you. But for situations like trying to get your uh, dog that perhaps may be distracted to come back to you, reeling them in with that training leash, being really, really excited that they're coming to you is a great way to uh, safely work on the come command around distractions that you know aren't at your house or places that he's very used to. The beach is a great distraction. There's tons of dogs there, tons of people, and of course we all know this guy loves the water. Yes, you do. So um, we'll definitely continue to work on Hum. He does a really good job. He could. Uh, pick up the pace just a little bit, but he's so adorable and he absolutely loves everybody and even if he does need a little bit of help coming quicker, that's okay. Baby steps. And he's taking a nap. <laughs> this is Nicole here with Koa. Been working on the uh, come command, reviewing that, um, different ways of trying to get him a little bit more motivated to come. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.